The Apex system features two PFD controllers. Each controls the respective PFD. The controller is divided into two sections. The upper half controls the selections on the PFD, while the lower portion is used for radio tuning. The barrow knob is used to set the altimeter setting. The altimeter can quickly be set to standard by pushing the knob. The altimeter can be configured in either inches of mercury or hectopascals. The nav select button toggles the HSI navigation display between the available sources. The sequence of navigation sources depends on installed equipment and options, but is commonly on-site FMS, VOR or localizer, cross-site FMS, cross-site VOR or localizer. The power-up default nav source is initially set when the aircraft is configured. Pushing the nav preview button will display a preview of the VOR or localizer nav course while the aircraft continues to navigate using the FMS nav source. This mode is useful when you need to set the final approach course on the VOR or localizer nav source in flight when navigating in FMS mode. The HSI can display two bearing pointers simultaneously. Pushing the corresponding bearing pointer buttons on the PFD controller will display the bearing pointer and cycle through the available nav sources. The nav source for the bearing pointer is displayed next to the HSI along with the associated DME distance for VORs or localizers. Pushing the HSI button toggles the HSI display format between the full compass rows and the 120 degree format. The Apex system features a timer that is displayed on the PFD when the elapsed timer button is pushed. Push the button again to start the timer. Push the button again to stop and then reset the timer. After 20 seconds at zero, the timer will be removed. The course range knob is a dual concentric knob. When an HSI overlay is selected, rotating the outer knob adjusts the range on the HSI display. The range distance displayed on the HSI is the distance from the aircraft to the first arc, so the full range displayed on the HSI is twice what is enunciated. Rotating the inner knob sets the course for the selected VOR or localizer. Pushing the ADHARS button cycles through the installed air data and heading reference system sensors. This button is normally used in the event one of the ADHARS channels has failed. In the event the ADHARS button is pushed, both pilots will get an indication that they are using the same source. If the PFD controller itself fails, pushing the PFD button on the cross-side PFD controller will let that side control the display of the PFD with the failed controller.